What is that? That's the dustpan. Good morning, guys. Our playroom is a mess. When isn't it? I swear I clean this thing every night, and by every morning, Grayson destroys it. I wanted to give an update on Christmas presents and how those went. So I'll just highlight some of them um, if you guys have any questions or you're trying to figure out what to get a two or almost three year old. Here are some ideas of things that Grayson has liked. One of the best things that Grayson got, actually my sister got it for him. It's a very hungry, hungry caterpillar um, card game. And basically there's a die over there. And depending on what it lands on is what you have to do. And so they're just fun, cute little things like crawl like a caterpillar or fall like a sheep or just anything like that. Um, it's a really fun game. It is three plus, but Gray really, really likes it and has been having fun with that. My mom got this for Grayson. Um, it's from the show Puppy Dog Pals. Hang on, it's focusing. There we go. Sorry, this camera takes a second to focus, so it's just gonna take me a while to get used to it. But anyway, this is from Puppy Dog Pals, and if you press it, it'll start moving and it'll wag its tail and we things. We are going on a mission. So Grayson likes it. He likes to take it and that have it um, fall off the edge. He thinks that's pretty funny. My mom also got Grayson this matching letter game. It's supposed to teach him like how to spell words. Um, it has a bunch of cards and then um, a bunch of letter blocks and then you just have to spell the word. He doesn't really understand this one. Um, it is for three plus, but I think it will really help him learn how to spell in his letters and things. This is one of the gifts that I got Grayson for um, Christmas and he loves it. It's the flashlight game. It's super fun. Um, he just likes playing with the flashlight. He The um, objects are actually really hard to find in it. Um, the only problem with this is the flashlights are like just paper and so they're very easily broken. Hence you can see this one has got like rips. I've had to tape it several times, so that's the only problem with it. But other than that, he loves this flashlight book. This is something that um, actually Porter was given, but Grayson thinks it's really fun. It's one of those animals where you push the button and then it like plays peekaboo with you. Um, Porter's too small for it, but Grayson thinks it's hilarious and loves playing with it. Um, I got Grayson this Blues Clues guitar. This is water. <laughs> he loves this thing. Takes it everywhere. Loves the Blues Clues guitar. So yeah, all in all, Grayson likes a lot of his presents. He plays with all of them pretty much. Um, some of them that he wasn't as into that I thought he would be, I did get him um, a mailbox from Blue's Clues, and I think he just doesn't really understand how to work it yet, so he's not super into that. I also got him a like doodle board that just erases itself, and he's not super into that. I think he just doesn't really understand what to do with it yet. But other than that, like he loves all the Blue's Clues books that I got him. He loves the puzzles, so it's been a really great Christmas. Um, Actually, this whole winter holiday season, it, not winter, I wish winter was wrapping up. The holiday season is wrapping up. Tomorrow, Anthony is back at work, and so it's gonna be back to normal life. Um, we've been kind of doing some changes, um, just little changes. We are switching up our cable and internet. We've been paying way too much. We have Spectrum right now, and it's just way too much. And so we're switching over to WOW for internet, and then we're gonna get um, YouTube TV for cable, because I do like to watch a lot of my like junky junk shows. And The Bachelor is coming on, so I do need to make sure I get channels. But um, we are, gonna do streaming cable for the first time. Never done that before. All my siblings have been doing it. So I'm just now jumping on that train, which I know is like super late to the game. But yeah, we're switching over to that and then we switched our internet. So um, just little changes here and there. Um, like I said, The Bachelor starts tomorrow. So I'm super excited to watch that. However, The Bachelorette was like super boring, so I'm worried that this is gonna be super boring because Corona is still going on, so you can't really go anywhere. Grayson is playing in Porter's Play Gym. Porter still loves this thing. He thinks it is so fun. But anyway, back to 
um, cable and internet. I actually had a really terrible experience with Spectrum. Um, I called to tell them like, hey, we're quitting you guys and we need to end our services. And I was basically bullied and belittled and they tried everything they could to get me to change my mind and not quit, which I get it. Like you're trying, you have to try to keep the customers. Obviously they're gonna like take their money elsewhere. You wanna get that money for yourself. But the way that this guy did it was just so rude and terrible. I never wanna go back to Spectrum again. So heat of warning if you wanna go to Spectrum, don't because they're terrible. Um, I mean, that company was already on my nerves because they jack up your bill without telling you which is super rude okay sorry about that i had it cut out on me because the memory card was full i think i'm gonna need a bigger memory card for my camera so i'm just filming on my phone real fast but anyway yeah don't go with spectrum they're mean rude people they just want your money i mean i guess all cable internet companies want your money but just the way they tried to get me to stay on was so off-putting and the dude actually hung up on me that was like the last straw. So then I had to call back again. Thankfully, I got someone better and was able to cancel my services. So it was just bad overall. Hi, Porter. So it's the next day. I just forgot to pick up the camera again. And Porter's in his play bouncer. I was gonna say play gym, but that's not what this is. He can touch the ground and he's starting to like move these off of the little things. He really likes this. Gray is down for a nap, although he's not really napping and I'll show you guys. This is what he's doing. This is the lamp in our room, in his room and he has put it on the floor and there's books everywhere and obviously he's not in bed. So yeah, that's how nap time is going. I feel like Grayson is starting to lose his nap. Um, it's very hit or miss whether he will do it. More often times than not, he's not taking a nap. And so I guess this is more of quiet time than nap time. I'm not ready to give up on it yet though um, because I need that time <laughs> away from him. So I do put him in his room. There's a lock on his door so he can't get out. And I obviously I watch him on the camera, but basically he goes in there and he just destroys his room. He puts his lamps on the floor. He has two lamp floor lamps in his room and he broke the one. So I had to order another one. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. He gets all his books off the bookshelf. Yesterday, he got a whole shelf off the bookshelf. I had to put that back on. Sometimes he gets his clothes out and all that on the floor. He gets books all over. He used to rip books and I finally got smart and I took all of the rippable books out of his room and so he cannot rip those anymore. So yeah, life with a toddler. It's a little crazy. Um, I hope he'll take a nap. I'm watching him now and he's just sitting on the floor reading a book. He's been doing this funny thing lately where he waits until nap time to poop and for the longest time if he poops like he will not sleep in a poopy diaper which I don't blame him but it's like it doesn't matter if I wait I usually put him down around 12 15 12 30 it doesn't matter if I wait till 1 1 30 he will not poop until I put him in his room and then I put him in his room and then usually I have to wait about a half hour so I'll come back at like 1 and he'll be poopy I'll change his diaper and then sometimes he'll go to sleep and sometimes he won't so he's been a stinker about that. Not sure how that's gonna work into potty training. I'm hoping to start that next month. I'm dreading it. I'm absolutely dreading it. I don't wanna do that again. I tried for a month in the summer and it was just miserable. And now I have a baby with me as well in addition to Grayson, so I'm just dreading it. But I'm not sure how that's gonna work with potty training with him pooping every nap. I mean, obviously I'll still keep him in diapers for nap time and night time, but I mean, he's gonna go to preschool in the fall, so he needs to be potty trained. So wish me luck, but that's about a month away. I need to like get in the zone and like pump myself up for that. So anyway, uh, when I go in to see if he's poopy, I will record and show you the mess of his room. Grayson, are you making a mess? This is what I come into every day. He got diapers out, put all that on the floor. His blanket and pillows are on the floor, books on the floor. Here's the broken lamp. 
Usually these are on the floor. He must have put it back up. But yeah, that one doesn't work anymore, so we just have one. Grayson. I used to have crayons in here, and then he drew on that wall, so we don't have that anymore. Every time I come back, it's a disaster. Usually all these puzzles, which I don't know why I leave these out every time, but I do. Usually all those puzzle pieces are on the floor. He didn't do that this time. Look, he's proud of himself. And did he sleep at all and take a nap? No, he did not. What do you have to say for yourself? He just, he just said, did you have a good sleep? Yeah, great, you didn't sleep. What are you doing? He's, He's just chewing on his fingers like usual. What? <laughs> Every time we get the camera out, he smiles. Now he thinks I'm taking his picture. Smile for the picture. <laughs> uh, he is so cute, but man, does he make a lot of messes. Do you see how bare the bookcase looks now? That's because I had to take most of the books out because he was going to destroy them. A star. Uh, are you a star? Here's Felix. Hi, Felix. Felix likes to go underneath Grayson's bed. I always have to lure him out there at night because he'll stay under there all night. Yes, Felix is under your bed. Felix.